Melania Trump spent her second day in Belgium visiting the Queen Fabiolo Children's Hospital in Brussels, where she spent time doing arts and crafts with the young patients. The 47-year-old First Lady was all smiles as she took selfies with the children, while presenting them with several gifts, including Dr. Seuss books and souvenirs from the White House. Melania was presented a bouquet of paper flowers during her visit, and she happily gave one to each child before posing for photos with them. For the visit, Melania was the picture of elegance, donning a tan skirt suit and Manolo Blahnik snakeskin heels, but her outfit didn't stop her from joining the children in an arts and craft project. Melania was photographed sitting down with the patients to make paper flowers together, and she carefully constructed a red flower for herself using tissue paper and a wooden skewer. The first lady was completely focused on the children, and she was photographed squatting down and putting her arm around their backs as she spoke to them. She took to Twitter after the trip to speak about her wonderful experience visiting the hospital. Thank you to Queen Fabiola University Hospital. Enjoyed creating paper flowers with amazing patients and getting a tour. She tweeted. The First Lady arrived in Brussels on Air Force One with her husband President Trump on Wednesday evening, stepping off the aircraft in a navy and blue gingham gingham coat. Brussels is the fourth stop on the couple's first international trip as President and First Lady, and they were immediately greeted by Prime Minister Charles Michel and his partner Emily Derbedrangian when they deplaned. Trump and Melania then headed straight to a meeting with King Felipe of Belgium and his wife, Queen Mathilde. They were pictured with a couple at the Royal Palace in Brussels. While Melania looked smart in her suit, Queen Mathilde opted for a pale pink dress, which featured a lace overlay. On Thursday, Trump will attend a meeting with NATO leaders following talks with leaders from the European Union, including France's new president, Emmanuel Macron. During Trump's meeting, Melania and Macron's wife, Bridget Macron, will visit a museum devoted to the works of Belgian surrealist painter René Magritte. The two first ladies will be also joined by the Belgian prime minister's partner, Emily Derbedrangian, NATO chief Jen Stoltenberg's wife, Ingrid Schuleret, and the country's fine arts museum's chief, during their tour of the René Magritte Museum. They are then expected to visit the Delvo luxury handbag shop, which is said to be the oldest in the world, before joining King Felipe of Belgium's wife, Queen Mathilde, on a tour of the 19th-century royal greenhouses at Leken. Melania's trip to Queen Fabiola Children's Hospital is her second children's hospital visit in as many days. On Wednesday the First Lady visited the Vatican's Children's Hospital, meeting with patients, painting pictures with them, and once again taking selfies with several patients who were eager to capture the moment. Melania spent time visiting with a group of young patients at the Bambino Gesù Pediatric Hospital after she and President Trump met with Pope Francis earlier at the Vatican. She also toured the hospital's cardiac intensive unit, as well as the recreation room, where she painted with children from nine different countries, pausing to snap a series of selfies with them. She ended the visit by praying in the hospital chapel, while also pausing in front of a Madonna statue located outside of the hospital for a quiet moment of reflection. Melania also appeared to cross herself while standing in front of the statue, the First Lady grew up in the predominantly Catholic country of Slovenia, and she is a practicing Roman Catholic. Her spokeswoman Stephanie Grishma confirmed that to DailyMail.com on Wednesday, hours after Pope Francis blessed a rosary for her at the Vatican. However, Melania married a Presbyterian-born husband in an Episcopal church, and she has since attended several services with Trump. The couple is also sending their son Baron to an Episcopal school in Washington, D.C. Having appeared relatively somber and straight-faced during her meeting with Pope Francis earlier in the day, Melania looked much more relaxed and happy as she sat down with the group of children at the hospital, some of whom presented her with artwork that they had made especially for her visit.